I generally like to offer nutrients to uh, animals to be able to select. Nutrients aren't technically food and they're not technically medicine. So they support the functioning of the body. I also sometimes will put out a tablespoon of coconut. By seeing what the dog is selecting, that gives you some indication of what might be going on. Are they selecting devil's claw first? Are they selecting licorice root first? Or are they really wanting a lot of uh, rosehip powder? Dogs who have compromised immune system, older dogs and growing dogs, very often they're, they're wanting a lot of spirulina. Uh, there is some caution with spirulina, with Dalmatians but it's more based on theory than anything else. Then once they finish their session, you can come back and see if they need any more of the remedies that they were selecting or whether the essential oils have now taken over from these remedies. So they're a good starting point. They give you a lot of information. It's very popular with water dogs, uh, spirulina, perhaps because they've evolved with it. You just splash some water on and you don't mix it, okay? You shake it like this. And this way, you can watch. Are they going for the dry or are they going for the wet? Uh, I once had a dog with a, a very compromised immune system who wouldn't touch it if it was wet, only wanted the dry. You know when they're getting their dose uh, of dry because it begins to stick on the tongue. When you see that, add some more water. Barley grass, it's not as frequently selected. However, when it is, then it's really important. Actually, I think I've, I've made that a little bit too watery. So I'm just going to put a little bit more barley grass in. Okay. The glass rod doesn't seem to hang on to any of the aromas. I generally offer a rice bran or passion flower oil um, and see which the, the dog prefers. As long as they've given a sniff, that's fine. If they turn away from it, it's very unlikely they're going to select any of the nutrients or uh, medicinal herbs if they have a oil that's not compatible with them. But you can offer any oil, you know, good quality. You could try olive oil, as long as the dog's okay with it. But generally, these seem to be the most popular. Now, I don't want to make it too oily because I don't want the dog to have to take lots of oil to get the medicinal plant or the nutrients that they need. I leave it a little bit dry. Rosehip powder can be mixed with water uh, or it can be mixed with oil. Sometimes they will crunch on dried rosehip shells. Okay, now we're going to do the same for devil's claw, whereby I just mix a little bit. and a little splash and then mix it which I can get a little bit lumpy so just mix it up again not putting too much oil with it you don't want it oily and with licorice root again you just put a little bit down and again splash some oil licorice root is really popular it's really popular for dogs that um, have been, well, after they've been spayed, both male and female. Uh, it's very, uh, it's often selected where there's incontinence. And it's also very frequently selected by uh, animals with cushions. And it supports the liver and endocrine system. So when you put them down, offer them all at one time to your dog. Don't do it individually and watch which one they select. Sometimes they will select uh, a few licks of perhaps the rosehip, then they go to spirulina, and they alternate. So, for example, the rosehip may be taken because of its vitamin C content that helps the animal absorb the barley grass or the spirulina. So really important to put the remedies down all together.